Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Well, today I'm going to try to tackle the issue of EV driving range. There are currently three standards used by EV manufacturers. Number one, the NEDC, which is the new European driving cycle. Number two, which is the newer WLTP, which stands for Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Testing Procedure. And number three, EPA, which is the US-based Environmental Protection Agency reference range. NEDC was established in the 1980s, and the Europeans are now heading towards WLTP, which was developed in 2017. EPA is the US-based one, and is generally considered probably the most accurate of the three. For my information, I've used Bryce Gatton's article from Driven.io, which I'll leave as a link in the description below for you to have a look at. Basically, there are differences in testing procedures between the three of them. NEDC has now shifted more towards WLTP, with more situations mimicking real-life driving, and they both tend to favour inner-city and suburban driving, being European, of course, whereas the EPA testing range is more towards highways and road trip driving, so it's actually probably closer to Australian type conditions. Tesla tends to quote NEDC range for Australian Tesla vehicles. So when you see an NEDC range for a Tesla Model 3, for example, subtract about 25 to 30% of that range and you'll tend to get more of a real world range. WLTP also tends to overstate things. So again, minus about 10% if you see a WLTP range. EPA ranges are very close to Australian ranges and people in the US have actually stated it's been very close to their uh, experience of driving their Teslas. But of course, the main disclaimer is that everyone's driving style is different. The more of a lead foot you have, then your range will obviously go down. If you're more of a careful driver, then your range will obviously go up and your efficiency of your battery will go up as well. And of course, there's Robert Llewellyn's bladder range. So of course, my bladder range is much lower than the quoted NEDC WLTP or EPA range of any car. And to be honest, I've got a young family. I'm going to have to stop anyway at the roadside supercharger or DC charger with my Tesla and it really doesn't matter what the range of the car is. I'm gonna to have to stop for a toilet break anyway. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below, and as always, happy charging.